ready or not, here we go. on my digital domain. I am the sentinel of security, the enigma of encryption, the code that cannot be cracked. I am the network lord of domains, and you shall not ask. people. Oh, okay, you're already there. That's great. It's good to see you. Greeny needs our help. She's on a mission and she's lost the signal. We need our combined com calculating power to get her out of her. I'm 5e. You've probably seen me in feline form on the net. There I'm known as Cat 5e. That, that being said, when we gathered here last year, I ask you to behave to conquer the city, to be well seen. Maybe the instructions were not quite clear. When I said behave and be well seen, what I meant was behave well and be seen. I've been getting calls from the city. Oh, there is this nice park and we are going to pose there in the flowers and get photos taken. Don't do that again. Don't step into the flowers because the park doesn't like it when they have to replant it after us. Other than that, people were pretty happy with you. That's good. I also want to keep you well fed. So if you're running on a budget or maybe you slept too long and missed your hotel lunch, you can go to the local Mensa canteens, which is the students' union, and you'll find the locations in the Eurofern's app where you can get a complete lunch for just five to eight euros, or even go to their cafes for a pasta meal for very cheap. So we want you well slept, well fed, so you can work your hours off here. <laughs> also, while you're hacking, you do realize you're being monitored. People are trying to catch you. A good way to hack is being on the move. You probably already have the city tickets to move around. If you want to be real stealthy, you can hack on the water. Some of you have seen the summer boat yesterday where the first thing was going on. You can find also in that a discount code that we inserted into their booking system where you get another 40% if you ever decide to take a second tour hacking on the water. Or you just use the harbor ferries, which are part of public transport. They are for free to use if you just have a day ticket for the trains and buses. That's a fine way to see the harbor without spending much money. Lastly, I forgot, I'm losing connection. What's wrong? Right, Greeny needed help. She lost connection. Let's find out what the matter is here. 
console. Yeah, it's got power. We got that. Greenie, if you could only reach us, help us, please. Yeah, obviously. Who the fuck unplugged the modem? That should help. Bye. A signal. You got one. Let's give it a shot. Hmm? <gasps> what a crowd. How awesome to see you. You can't take us down, security system. You are only one voice. I am a thousand. Join me, everyone. Oh! part of the Eurofront's Megacorp. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With all our fixers and rookies, we are... Um, <laughs> yeah, we're just ruined. With all our fixers and rookies, we are uh, the backbone of convention, do, uh, do, doing all the logistical things and caring for our areas. But we are also here to help you. If you need help, we have an info desk. You can find it today at 4 Free on the left side. But tomorrow, you can find us on 4 X in the first floor. There, <laughs> there you can also get your first hit badge if you well, have pre-ordered one or want to get another one. Also, Conops is offering the locker service if you want to enter an art show and dealer's den and you have oversight specs, you can't enter, but you can start into locker service to still enter arts and crafts. So that's from Conops. We hope that we can help you in this chaotic world. And Conops is here to help the convention, and Conops is here to help you. So thank you. I think that was my word, helping. So hello from the security department of Eurofront. Security uh, is also driving a medic service. So if you need any medic help, uh, please don't hesitate to come to the check-in counter number two. This is where you can find security. We also provide uh, medic information and little help uh, there for you. You also can reach us via the call boxes. If you run around in the CCH area, you can notice small standees, so-called call boxes, with a button on it, so you can directly uh, get a connection to security uh, office. Or you can call us by phone. So I know every one of you is reading the con book, so take a look inside. And there is a section of security, so there's also our 24-7 hour telephone number. If you have a medical incident inside of the CCH area, please don't hesitate to call us first and not the external emergency services because we know where you are and we can find you here in this big building. Otherwise, if you have a medical incident outside of the building, like in a park or your hotel, so please uh, use the standard emergency calling like your hotel reception or the EMS services of Hamburg. 
I have everything on paper, so it's just easier for me to... <laughs> just wanted to say. Does not need battery, so... Uh, oh, yes. Talking about CCH, it's a very big building. Okay, so do not enter any areas which are not rented by Eurofriends please, so if there are tensor barriers, don't step over them, don't be in areas you should not be. There are other events, events and uh, conventions running at the moment, and if you will not follow this rule, it's very good tested, so maybe it's the last your friends you are visiting, so no. I don't want to uh, be the bad guy, but um, in this case, if you keep it in the areas which belongs to your friends, it's finely marked. If you need anything from security, if something is wrong, if you need any help, please come to us immediately. We can help you now. We cannot help you two weeks later or last year at Eurofriends. I had this problem. Uh, sorry. Um, if, if the convention is over, um, we cannot help you anymore. How to find security? I told you before. Check in two counter in the main entrance area or we have 100 operatives running around uh, from, of security this year, uh, looking maybe like this, but not always, but the security logo is viewable on the back, on the prasad, on the arm. Don't hesitate to talk to these guys and girls. We can help you, and they also want to help you. We're all furries on our own. And doing, I think, 3,000 uh, scheduled hours this year for your friends. Thank you. Fursuiters, I think they are here somewhere, but I cannot see you. But if there are fursuiters in the audience or in the overflow halls, we have water carrier service for you. If you are shooting and it's hot and you need something to drink and there are guys from security and girls running around or driving around uh, with a blue high-vis vest and water bag on the, on the back, camel pack, just raise your paw, or approach them, they will bring you fresh water all the time you need. For the first users who are staying in hotels more far away, uh, we offer a special fursuit locker overnight, oh sorry, a fursuit overnight locker service. As the word says, it's for fursuits and overnight. I repeat, it's for fursuits and only over night, one night. So don't bring your kitchen, your car. Um, this is my emotional support chicken. Can you keep it? No. So we try to offer as much space for you as possible, but it's limited. So yes, you can drop the, your fursuit there and pick it up in the morning again. Talking about night, silence is a thing. Um, you know, in front of the CCH, this big plaza, it's a very nice space. There are food trucks and also little DJ corners around, and the boom boxes are very nice until 11 p.m. Full stop. I don't make this rule. I'm not the bad guy, but please keep it silent because the hotel next, this big one, this high one, and there are also uh, people sleeping which are not on the party and maybe don't want to be on the party. In, yeah. So this is really a strict rule. So 23, 23 Uhr, 11 p.m. Please silence outside. Oh, for those who are the first time here, I would say raise your paw, but I don't see. Um, for the first time I see, we have a special uh, convention, um, uh, panel for you tomorrow. No, it is, yes, tomorrow, Saturday, at 1 p.m. with Uncle Kage here on the main stage. So please visit. If you know, need to know any first-time convention going hints, how to survive, how to get the best out of a convention, you should be here tomorrow. Oh, if you need any further details, read the con book. Yes, I know. Um, and otherwise, hey, for great, great, you are friends, 28, and... Again, don't hesitate to approach us. Thank you. Uh, 
And now there's only one thing we have to do. Oh, yes. Let yeah, us help you, you Greenie, mm -hmm. by CONOPS and, and security. security. <laughs> ah, Multipass. <laughs> have a great con. Have a great convention. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Thank you, team. Hmm. So let's make use of that Sponnock console. Face it, you have lost. What can you possibly do? Repurpose an old arcade machine as a makeshift terminal to try and shut down the network, Lord of Domains, and... Yep, that is exactly what I'm going to do. But how? How is that even possible? With the power of creativity, anything is possible. Face it. Or should I say, deal with it? Take it away. Hello, everyone. I'm from the dealer stand here. My name is Patarchus. And with me is... Hello, I'm the Archer Director. My name is Blue Panther. <laughs> last year, when we moved to the CCH, the dealer stand became one of the largest dealer stand in Europe. But why stop there? We grew bigger. <laughs> This year, the dealer stand is around 2,000 square meters, and all dealers and assistants together are 400 people waiting for you. So, maybe if you want to buy a new fursuit hat, or a badge, or you want to have um, something drawn here on site, Come to us. We are opening tomorrow. Um, the super sponsors will come first, and in, uh, at 12, at 13, the sponsors, and at 14, the regular attendees can come. See you tomorrow. I have got a few things to add to that, actually. We also grew, but we're still the same old Archo with a lot of new features. Um, we already said about the opening hours, yes, we have the same as two. Location is also the same. The artists are currently checking in. And of course, we will open to our patrons tomorrow. Bidder registration starts also tomorrow. Closing is on Friday. Saturday, we will be selling the purchases, you can also, uh, of course, pick up those uh, in the art show itself and pay, like last year, at the security desk, cash only. So, what are the new features, you might ask? I've got a small list here. Not that large. So, as you might have already seen, uh, we're going to have an opening night tonight. That is a charity-only thing, and it is uh, basically, you can still pick up at the ComOps info desk, you can pick up for one euro contribution. You, of course, like to have it higher. You can pick up your ticket for the opening night. Tickets are limited. When they're gone, they're gone. But it's your first sight into what is our new art show. We've got an art show forum with a lounge a sofa where you can sit and enjoy selected art pieces. We have a digital showroom as a, pilot, as a pilot project where we will be showcasing animations, 
uh, game uh, design, VR scopes, video clips, generally something that is usually not able to be displayed in 2D. Um, and come by and have a look there. I think our loop is about uh, half an hour to uh, 20 minutes. Come by and enjoy. The next big thing, of course, is we will also have quite a few events going on. Um, if you are an artist and uh, are interested in, in seeing some live drawing or some live sculpting, we also have that, um, mainly on Thursday night. Um, and if you just simply want to come and hang out at our art show and dealer's den reception party, that is also then. So now let, let me check my thing that we've all got. Oh yeah, basically, that is it. What I also have to mention is we would like to improve and be bigger. If you like our art show that we have at the moment right now, we of course would like to be the patron for more future exclusive artwork. We will try and be the beacon in the European Furry Fandom for that. So if you have large sculptures, if you're debuting your animation project, talk to us, we'd be interested, even in the future. I have one last thing. This year I was tasked to come up with a solution for distributing on-site volunteering and I came up with the critter system. And this was um, on very short notice in the end we uh, finished the last pieces of code um, on Sunday. <laughs> so um, yeah. I would like to thank um, especially Valenti and Rusty here on stage because without them the whole system wouldn't be there, it wouldn't work. So please applaud. Thank you. So and with that, Oh, here it goes for creativity. <laughs> oh, sick! New combos! I think you are about to lose! Think again. Game over. What? Hey! That's cheating! You play dirty! I play to win. Fine. So can I. Time for you to meet someone special. Good evening, your friends. My name, for those that don't know me, is Raymond Liam. I flew all the way here from Australia, and despite the fact that I'm standing in front of this stage right now, I am not a member of staff. <laughs> Though I did used to be one a long time ago. Um, what I am here to do tonight is to introduce this year's Euroference Guest of Honour, Iris Schleuss. Iris is a well-respected German uh, puppeteer, director, puppeteer uh, coach, uh, and mentor in the film, television, and theatre industries. Uh, and she has a very long body of work behind her, over 20 years of experience in puppetry and production. Uh, one of her most major uh, contributions has been through her work on the German version of Sesame Street, uh, where she has, through her puppetry skills, brought to life multiple beloved characters over the years. Some of her other television credits include uh, Kika's Baumhaus, uh, Captain Blaubeer and Jan und Henry, just to name a few. She also has experience in the film industry with credits including uh, The Never Ending Story 3, uh, in which she puppeteered multiple different characters. Um, she's also a talented uh, theatrical performer and currently runs the Theatre Blickwechsel um, production crew, which specialises in puppetry-based performance. Now, unfortunately, um, Iris is not here right now. I would love to have brought her out on stage for you. Uh, she is currently very busy with the work she's doing on Sesame Street. Um, 
but she will be here attending uh, later on during the convention. Uh, we have a guest of honor panel at 1500 hours on Friday afternoon, and we have a theatre and TV panel that our guest of honor will be running uh, at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. So if you are interested in getting to know our guest of honor better, uh, you will have a chance to meet them then, so please do come along. Uh, and with that, I think that's about all I have to say. So uh, thank you for listening, and I will leave you to the rest of your Euroference. Are you doing? I'm sorry, Network. Self care is health care. I'm taking a break. Get back to the arcade, you coward. I can give you 621 reasons why I will stay right here. Bibi, please explain the 6 to 1 rule. Hello, and welcome to the Convention Center's Content Coders Codex. Before we begin, Please enjoy this short infomercial. Are you feeling low on energy? Good news. You can recharge your internal battery with a minimum of six hours of sleep every day. That's 360 minutes or 3.05 Blade Runner movies long. Have you slept but still feel tired? Existence is exhausting. Remember to feed yourself at least twice per day. Insert the food into your mouth, which can be located here. Do you smell that? Yes, that's you. Do shower at least once a day. On average, a shower takes no more than eight minutes. That's 0.5% of your daily time. There is no excuse. Embrace the power of a shower. Embrace the 621 rule brought to you by the Convention Center's Content Coders Codex. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Gracias. How does this help me? It doesn't. But it kept you distracted long enough for the next departments to go on stage. Because <laughs> you clever canine. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. My name is Jake. I am the director, one of the two directors of Fursuit Support. We support fursuits. <laughs> so, uh, I have a lot to talk about, so I'll keep it short. There's a fursuit lounge right over there. If you don't know how to find it, follow your nose. Um, basically, if you exit this room, to the right, and then into the hallway, and then on your left. There will be security people sitting at the door in there. Not that hard. So, um, hi fans, bye. It's my fan club. <laughs> so, um, in the Fursuit Lounge, we have drinks to keep you hydrated. We have snacks to keep you on your feet instead of on a brand car into the first aid. We have fans. We have big fans, we have small fans. So, um, we have a lot of staff helping out. So if you ever need to get in or out of Fursuit, they will be able to help you, hopefully. You can probably find them if you look for green vests. They have a green vest now. Thank you, the team member who actually made those for us. <laughs> the
there are a few rules to the fursuit lounge. Um, I'll try to keep this short. No food, like no burgers and pizza boxes, greasy. It happened before, we had to clean it up, it was not nice. Uh, no glass, like glasses, beer bottles and so on. They break, shards on the floor, fursuiters with bare feet. Not the greatest combination. No paint, like face paint or body paint or so. Um, if any of you think, what a silly rule, every rule has a reason. I'll leave it up to your imagination to figure out the reason for these rules. Um, nothing on the back of fans. <laughs> so we have these giant fans and uh, people put... <laughs> people put balaclavas and hand paws on the back of them. Um, not only do they get sucked into the blowers, stopping them, breaking them, that's bad and expensive to repair. Um, the sweat that is sucked out is then blown into the faces of the people in front of those fans. <laughs> Not the best reaction, but... <laughs> at least it got the point across. So, um, let's see, what else? Uh, no pictures. Please do not take pictures in the Versuit Lounge because even if you are very careful about framing it correctly, nothing in the way, no, no Versuit or no naked people because it's basically a dressing room in the frame. We still don't like having to... Is, is that person taking pictures of naked people? Or, um, please just don't take pictures. If you want to take a picture, there's a hallway right outside, just go there. It's less than half a minute to walk. Just, just do it there. Problem solved. Now, there's one more rule which is new this year, and I don't like it. <laughs> the reason is that we grew with 50%, basically, in attendees. The first route launch did not. Last year, it almost got shut down because people were blocking the fire exits. This is a safety issue. It is the very only reason that we decided to say no hard cases can be stored in the Fursuit Lounge this year. And by hard cases, I mean cases that retain their shape when empty. This is an entire full suit, padded and everything. It is a soft bag. If I empty this out and wear it, it will basically be this big. And I can fit a lot of them in the 72 shelves that we built and set up in the Fursuit Lounge. That's way more than we could help out, way more people that we could help out than if they all brought the giant cases that are this big or bigger. I have seen the military cases, you know who you are. we would have to choose between letting more people in and letting the cases in. And we chose for the people. We want to be able to let every fursuiter stay alive, be in there, dry, cool down, stay hydrated. And at one point it was either we let more people in or we let more cases in. And that was not a decision that we wanted to make. So we had to choose. That's the only reason. We chose for the first shooters. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, um, before I go, uh, I want to thank all the people that helped out in the team, the first route support team. Not, like I said, Klaali uh, Tamrok, my co-director, the 30 or so people that we have in the team, uh, all the other people that actually helped out, making sure that we have all the stuff in the lounge, making sure that we can use all the stuff, and so on and so forth. There's a long list, I can't mention you all. Um, I do want to mention my fan club.
And, well, basically all of you for being such a great crowd. That so, um, that does include the people watching in the other rooms. Sorry, it's full here. Um, there's, over, I think, two overflow rooms. There's even the stream people watching at home. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Except for one person. Say hello to Coco, everybody. Now, you, you, people might know who, who, who this is, Coco, Coco the Corgi. Um, you might know her wearer, more like. Um, she also has another suit, Jill, red-nosed red canine. Um, most people know her as Wolvini. I know her as Grace. So, I would like to thank her for supporting me. I support for suits. She supports me. It's very hard to settle all of this, uh, have a job and stay alive. So, hello. Um, hi. There is one more thing that I would like to ask. I haven't even asked the question yet. Grace, would you like to marry me? Yes. Their fingers are already full with jewelry I gave her years ago. <laughs> Here's Thank you all, and have a great con. Plus, your paywall is a charity? A charity paywall relies on goodwill, your goodwill. However, selfish societies breed selfish people. Selfish people would never raise a claw to help someone in need. Selfish people like you will never beat me. Network, lord of domains, and got it. Awesome. See for yourself. Meet my charity. Impossible. Thank you, Greeny. Welcome, everyone. My name is Sniffer. I, I am the head of charity department. 
this year we have selected a charity that uh, tries to uh, that protects German wildlife, attempts to get proper rules and regulations put in place to ensure its continued protection. They have been so gracious to create a short video telling more about themselves and their work. So I give you Wildtierschutz Deutschland. Euroference is proud to present its charity for 2024, Wildtierschutz Deutschland. Wildtierschutz Deutschland is a unique animal and nature conservation organization that campaigns for wild animals, their habitats, and for the abolition of recreational hunting. The loss of intact natural areas is closely linked to the decline in biodiversity. We aim to raise awareness of these human-created problems in order to help wild animals and protect their livelihoods. Our goal is for people to take responsibility at all levels, from individual life choices to political decisions, and protect our planet and its wonderful fauna and flora. In wildlife sanctuaries supported by us, hundreds of injured or orphaned animals are given a second chance. This work requires a great deal of expert intensive care, which we would like to expand further in the future in order to give as many animals as possible a safe temporary home. Wildtierschutz Deutschland criticizes hunting because it is primarily a pleasure-oriented leisure activity. We expose hunting practices that violate animal welfare standards, often carried out under the guise of nature conservation. These practices are ineffective and cause considerable suffering. Foxes and badgers and entire wild boar families continue to be trapped and killed. Live ducks and foxes are abused for the training of hunting dogs. Of the approximately six million animals killed by hunting each year in Germany, around three million are disposed of without any further use. Awareness precedes change. We want people to recognize the need for a shift in how we treat nature, the environment and animals. In collaboration with our partners, we campaign for changes in hunting legislation. The outdated stance on wildlife, common in many political parties and influence groups from forestry, hunting and agriculture, must evolve to align with today's societal values. Some of our demands have already influenced recent legislation. Just like other years, there will be lots of activities where you, the attendees of Euroference 28, can support this year's charity. Come to our exhibition stand, make a selfie at our selfie spot or come to our panels. You can buy tickets and fabulous prizes at the lottery booth of Euroference. Check the schedule in the con book or visit the charity booth for more information. You can meet them right outside this room in foyer three. They have a table there. That's where you find uh, all, of the inf uh, all of them and all of the information about them. They're more than happy to share. They also prepared a couple of events for us, uh, Thursday and Friday, where they are going to talk more about who they are and what they do and how they're doing it. One of them is even an interactive experience. That's going to be a lot of fun. But there's more. We also have, uh, now we have the uh, Doodle for Charity. Old timers used to know the uh, Sunday open table. It's unfortunately dead. But now we have three days where we are able to get uh, funny doodles and cute doodles for charity. Thank you. <laughs> I love this person. Friday, we have the charity concert. As some of you know, 
Fox and Moore is unable to be here this year. Yes. Because of this, I am going to prematurely call our chairman on stage. Good evening, everybody. Yes, yes, I see the director waving. I know it's not my slot yet. But um, uh, the thing is that uh, just about a week ago, um, Fox got very sick and uh, had to go to the hospital. And um, he's back home right now. And as you all know, um, he's also the composer of the entire soundtrack for The Puppet Show. And um, the first thing he said to me when he came back from the hostel, hospital was, I'm still going to finish that. <laughs> and he did. He did. So th there's, there's a little thing uh, that I would really like to do because he, he is actually, he's been still composing stuff this very morning. And uh, just before I went downstairs here for the opening summary, he said, okay, I, I haven't slept in like uh, 24 hours. I should probably take a nap. And then I will go and do the last five minutes. And oh my God, this is, this is nothing you can expect from anybody. And he's really been going, not the extra mile, but the extra light year. And I would really like to send him a little thank you uh, so that he has something uh, to watch when he wakes up after his nap, which is hopefully going to be long because I don't want him to become any more sick than he already is. So can I have a very big thank you, Fox, and a big round of applause for you, please? <laughs> So th this is for you, Fox. We love you. Thank you so much. And get well. Fox and Moore has been a big supporter of the charity throughout the years. We absolutely love him for it. So thank you very much. But as you know, the show must go on. The rest of the band is called the Overworked Animals. I certainly cracked the whip because they're not getting out of this. So the, the charity concert is still going to happen even though Fox and Moore is not here. Um, on, uh, on Saturday, not Sunday, but on Saturday, we have a Kage's charity show where he is going to do silly things, especially for money. More money, more silly. <laughs> both, uh, both the uh, charity show and the charity concert uh, requires a ticket. You can buy that in the lottery booth in the lobby or entrance or what it's called this year. When you're there, you can also buy uh, our charity um, calendar, and you're able to buy lottery tickets to win fabulous prizes. Because of last year, we had to increase the amount of both. So now you're most definitely not able to make a sellout. Twice, third time, three times. <laughs> it was quite stressful, but fun. On Saturday, we have the, uh, the charity auction. If you have anything you wish to donate, it can be uh, artwork, it could be items, go see my team in the art show. They have a table there, they are going to take care of you, and we would love to see everything you, are going to, uh, you want to donate to us. It's always fun to see what creative stuff um, you come up with. And last but certainly not least, we have our fursuit collectors. If you see one of these fluffy creatures, they're going to run around either with a can or with a, uh, a big bulging sack in this case. <laughs> oh well. You just take your entire wallet and throw it in there. <laughs> so, 
So who can become a, a, a first route collector? Anyone? Actually, you don't even need to have a first route to be able to go to security and either request a bag or a can. Just go there, they're going to sort you out. And our internal thanks for actually doing this. We couldn't do this without you. So, I think I've been yapping long enough. Sorry, Greeny. So, let's help you out. Greeny, tear down this paywall. That's our charity, with an entire crowd to fund it. A crowd. Let me see for myself. Let me see how pure of heart they really are. But how are you all so happy? We look out for each other. We help each other. And we always look for more helping hands. But don't take it from me, take it from them. I cannot take anything from anyone. I don't have any hands. Oh, network, never change. Good evening, Euroference. My name is Gara. I'm one of the many, many people on the stage team. And, uh, well, stage team, that means we do this stage and maybe others. Let's see, do we have ZAL4 on here? Maybe? No? Okay. Well, hello, hello, Overflow. Oh, you're very dark, aren't you? You're watching the show. Yeah, that makes sense. Hello, very dark room that's watching the show. Thank you all for being here. It's an absolute pleasure. And uh, there's a few things for being you. One of the things we have is the electricity. <laughs> That's not all. We also have the lights. And even more lights. But most importantly, we have the crew. These people work tirelessly, endless hours in pre-production, on-site, making all of this possible. It's been hell of a ride going here. I don't think we've ever had more going on on two stages at the same time. I have no idea how I'm going to survive this, but if we're going to do it, we're going to do it with this team. And... <laughs> Of course, we're always looking for other volunteers that are interested in working on stage, because just like every other team, we're a volunteer-run team, so if you're interested in that, um, there are job offers on the website, you can contact us, you can contact me, there's a lot of information to be found about that. But the easiest way to help us out and actually stop us from getting burned out is the critter system. Hey, Tunes. Euroference is not supported by any kind of mega corp out there. Euroference is being supported literally by every one of you. Every one of you. Because in the end, everything that you see here is not just supported by your money, but also by more than 500 people who are currently making this convention possible. And I am currently standing here to tell you that you can be part of that. And we want that you'll be a part of that. There are possibly four kind of ways that you can be doing so. One, you just heard about it in regard of the critter system. A few kind of times there. So, if you, for example, never know uh, when you really have the kind of time, we now have the possibility by the power of electronics that you can, for example, look it up online. So, I think every one of you have a phone. <laughs> because there you can be currently finding the critter system. So everyone who wants to help just on a short kind of notice, go on the critter.euroferns.org 
And there you can be, for example, putting yourself into the system and just see which kind of team needs your kind of help to make this possible. Further, however, there's also possibility to not just temporary help us, but of course become one of our crew, to become one of the staff who pretty much work the entire kind of year to do this. So to do that, literally just come by, for example, at the front desk or the info desk for the com ops where we are sitting around. But also, you have, of course, a possibility to talk directly to the different kind of departments, where people like this wonderful kind of person here on the left is looking for you. But there's one more kind of opportunity that we have this very Saturday at 12, where you can come around, where about 64 of our different kinds of teams will be there to just give you a little bit kind of idea who's actually behind this entire kind of thing. While you maybe see a few kind of things out there, very often, we have by far more teams that you can probably recognize. So, with that, we definitely want that you being part. 10 years ago, I said I want to help. Tomorrow, I hope that that will be you. So, since we are not just caring about that you're helping us, we'll be caring about each and every one of you. We have one new kind of department that we want to pretty much give right now the applause. Up to the awareness team. Thank you. Um, yes, the new department, Awareness and Inclusion. Hi, I'm Wind Melody, pronouns are she, her, and I'm the director of SET team. We are currently a small group of, of neurodiverse people um, who focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and we aim to improve the experience of minorities and people with disabilities at the convention by supporting other departments and you as attendee. I have, I have three things I want to point out, especially the first thing is uh, our website, if you are disabled or have special needs, please check out our website, eureference.org slash accessibility. You will most likely find your information there. And the second thing is closely connected. We offer a quiet room. It's room X10 on the first floor. And you can go there when you feel overwhelmed and need to cool down or if you need to reduce stimuli. And yeah, but keep in mind, it's not a chill area. Uh, the cozy corner is on the second floor. And speaking of overwhelmed people, conventions can be overwhelming for everyone. So please take care of each other. Ask if you can help someone, ask for consent, and reach out to others if you are in a situation you cannot handle by yourself. You are not alone. Someone to talk to and no friend is available. Uh, the awareness team is there for you with an open ear. We are not many yet, but you can recognize us by this cloth with our logo on it. So just talk to them if you need someone. All right, and yeah, if you think you fit into this team, as I said, we are a small group of people currently, um, please contact me or us and yeah and we try to even improve more the awareness and the accessibility of the convention. All right, last two words, be possum, and now back to Greeny. Waited years for a worthy adversary. You will swim. Ready, player one. I have a name. It's Greeny. Use it. I challenge you, Greeny. I accept, Network. If I win, you open that door. 
And if you lose, I won't. Wait. What? I can't do this without a chair, man. Ready, player two. Fight. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Euphorus 28 in Hamburg. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Everything that led up to this moment was a thrill ride that you can hardly imagine, especially with so many of you showing up here. Um, with me is my friendly but shy Night Fox. <laughs> Hello. And um, well, I also did the toilet paper thing here. <laughs> Do you want to start? Yeah. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, I got a few numbers for you, and um, I think you have all seen the <laughs> gigantic queue this morning. I was all so overwhelmed. <laughs> but to explain that, last year we had 3,400 attendees. Um, this year we went up to 5,300, and I think that is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And I just got the information from our registration team. We have already 4,200 checked in. And I think our registration team deserves a round of applause. Thank you, guys, for the hard work. Um, before I go back to Cheetah, I just have the information that we did our homework. On Saturday, you will get the date for next year already. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. Uh, what else do we have? Yes, of course, we were um, expecting a lot more people to come this year. I don't know if I can say that we expected this many. We kind of hoped for it, like we were like, okay, maybe if we have really a lot of luck, we're going to get like a 5,000. And um, I can only quote from a conversation that I had earlier on Telegram with Uncle Kage when he said, hey, Cheetah, did you do you remember when, uh, you, when you said that you were afraid that people wouldn't uh, come anymore if you moved to Hamburg? And I just told him, yeah, now I'm afraid of the opposite. <laughs> so. But thank you so much for coming. Um, uh, you made a lot of things possible. Um, we have uh, rearranged the function space a little bit in comparison to last time. Uh, we now also have the two upper levels of uh, the main lobby, like the level X and Y. And um, since this time, we are sharing this convention center with a developers conference. Um, <laughs> Th that means we had to make a little space for them in the main lobby. So you will find more of the comfy furniture and stuff and chill out areas on the first and second floor. So uh, don't worry, we, we took care of that. And um, of course, I would like to uh, remind you that we are all, uh, we are all um, ambassadors of the fandom whenever we work together with other organizations. So I expect you to all to be nice and, uh, and polite um, and friendly towards uh, the guests of the other convention. And uh, of course, make uh, as many furries of them as you can. And yeah, um, if, you're, if you're working in IT and your boss is asking you what you did in Hamburg, you now have plausible deniability. <laughs> so, as some uh, of you who are watching already know, is uh, that uh, since we have 5,000 people but only 2,000 seats in this room, uh, for the most popular events, we're trying to offer uh, alternate viewing locations where you can uh, sit together and uh, at least watch the stream of this together with your friends. Um, look out in the timetable um, and make ample use of it. Also, greetings to everybody in the other room. Nice to have you here also.
Ah, oh, hello, dark room. Can, can, the people in the dark room, can you all like switch on your cell phones so I can see you? There we go. <laughs> I see you. Hello. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, finally some good news. Um, uh, we stopped giving out uh, the fancy super sponsor badges um, with, the, with the blinking lights at some point. I think uh, after, if you signed up as a super sponsor after the 11th of September, uh, you didn't get a, a badge. Uh, and I'm happy to say that we still have supplies. So everyone who has signed up as a super sponsor until today can go to the reg desk and pick up a, um, pick up a blinky badge. Uh, no matter when you upgrade it to Super Sponsor. And if you still want to do that, uh, we have another 40 badges uh, available. So if you feel like you want one of those badges and that would make you upgrade to Super Sponsor status, you can do that. It is limited until our nose counter of Super Sponsors reaches 590. And that's going to be strict because they will simply run out at some point. Um, but again, if you want one, you can have one. Also, uh, I like to make like like two uh, shout outs uh, first uh, to our friends uh, from the CCC, the Chaos Computer Club, because uh, we had some uh, some great collaboration going on. First thing that uh, they have worked uh, uh, with us to make their uh, their C3 NAV uh, in, indoor navigation system available to us. So um, if you check that out, if you go, I think it's like nav.eurofriends.org, um, you can actually get yourself located and uh, also like do route plannings uh, and find out where everything is. Um, so that is, that is pretty awesome. Um, and if you try... Yeah, you can actually you can actually look for individual artists in the art show or individual dealers in the dealer stand, and this thing will exactly show you where it is. And the funniest thing I saw is that they also included all the little tensor barriers for the crowd management. So, if you if you chose like a route from the entrance to the art show, it would go like zip, and then inside, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> So, um, and, um, and uh, the people who developed this are actually going to be on site and help us keeping it running. And that is so awesome. Thank you so much. And something that I would also like to mention is that uh, our volunteer shift management system, the Critter system, is actually an open source fork of the original uh, CCC Engel system that uh, some of you might already be familiar with if you are members uh, or attend to the Congress. And um, that also uh, marks a, a big step forward in our volunteer management. So if you want to uh, like take shifts as a volunteer on location, you can go to uh, the ConOps info desk anytime, and uh, they can hook you up with whoever needs your help. And that is also awesome. Thank you for the Engels team, and thank you for our team for making that fork that makes it work for furries. Yeah, I'd uh, also um, like to thank our uh, animation team um, uh, for the opening ceremonies who made the, the awesome animations and we haven't seen the last of it yet. Yes. Still something about to come. Uh, it was all uh, proudly made by furries and talented artists in Blender. And um, rumor has it that we actually have like a major lead developer of Blender uh, in the audience. I have no idea if that's true or not, or if you're in, in, in there somewhere, um, uh, Dr. Sibrin, um, he is the lead programmer of the animation and rigging and modeling system. <laughs> and... Uh, 
I would like to take that opportunity to thank both you, your team, uh, the Blender organization uh, for making something like this possible. This wouldn't have been possible like 20 years ago, possibly not even 10 years ago, but these times uh, the tools are available and screw Autodesk. Thank you so much. Yes, and with that, uh, I'm running out of things to say. And since we already had to wait uh, so much, uh, I don't want to delay this anymore and uh, give Greeny the final thing that needs to be done to get your ferns rebooted. So without further ado, I am going to declare your ferns 2028 open. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> well played, Network. I see I have met my match. This is Network, former Lord of this domain, signing off. Job, baby. And to all of you, you are in for a ride. A week to be yourself. A week to be wild. Welcome to Euroference 28. See you on the flip side.